Eugene Carroll is caught with an unlicensed handgun in New York. I'll tell you what the police did. You'll be shocked. Speaking of E. Jean Carroll, A.G. Letitia Dames has instructed prosecutors in the Donald Trump hush money case to harass him over Miss E. Jean Carroll if he decides to take the stand. Uh, DOJ head Merrick Garland continues to cover for Joe Biden, blocking the House of Representatives Investigation Committee from receiving evidence in the Biden classified documents scandal interview. And Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer shuts down the impeachment trial of Alejandro Mayorkas without a trial, without a reason, and without reviewing a single piece of evidence. Thank you guys so much for liking and sharing these videos. It really helps me out. So thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and jump into today's news update. All right. It's now day two in Trump's hush money trial and his attorneys are still attempting to sift through a heavily diluted jury pool. As of now, over 60 people have been disqualified based on personal beliefs that show they are biased in one way or another. However, the judge has just allowed one juror to stay despite evidence suggesting they celebrated Donald Trump's loss in 2020. When the unbiased nature of this person was challenged by Trump's lawyer, the judge reportedly stated, nope, she can be impartial, she stays. Now, to be fair, this person, in theory, could be impartial despite being left-leaning. However, in reality, it is much harder to determine a person's motives. Trump's lawyer, Jesse Banal, bashed the jury selection process by stating, they focused a lot of questions trying to find out if you have ever been involved in supporting Donald Trump at all over the years. They don't ask any questions about if you've been involved supporting President Joe Biden, if you have political bias and biases that show that you might want to convict President Trump in order to affect the presidential election as a juror. So basically, almost all the questions are set up to see whether you like Donald Trump, but not whether to see if you have Democrat values or if you voted for Joe Biden or support Joe Biden. So it's a, a very biased questionnaire uh, to begin with. Now, thankfully, Trump's lawyers have been doing the heavy lifting by sorting through social media posts of potential jurors. In one instance, a person was dismissed after it was found that they called for Trump to be jailed, and another was dismissed because they claimed Trump was dumb as F. Now, in regards to Trump himself, he's currently frustrated that he can't be out on the campaign trail. So, last night, instead of going home from being in court all day, what did he do? He took to the streets of New York. He went and visited several bodegas where he was greeted with thousands and thousands of people chanting his name, saying four more years, we love you, Trump. And Donald Trump went to speak with all of these bodega owners so he could ask them one thing, how do we make New York better when I'm president? So he's out there hitting the streets right now and uh, trying to figure out how he's going to help the city of New York make a big comeback. Now, President Joe Biden is once again mocking Donald Trump over his finances. During a campaign stop in his hometown of Scranton, Pennsylvania, Biden stated, I have to say, if Trump's stock in Truth Social drops any lower, he might be better under my tax plan than his own. Now, these were, uh, of course, not Biden's jokes. They were his script writers, uh, but it was a good one. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, Donald Trump is not broke and he knows it, but he's trying to make everybody believe that Donald Trump is in fact broke and has no money. But what do people actually think? They think Biden is mentally handicapped. In an apparent effort to offset this image, Attorney General Merrick Garland has defended Biden's mental health while under oath in a House hearing. After he claimed the president has no impairments, he stated, I have watched him expertly guide meetings of staff and of cabinet members on issues of foreign affair 
and military strategy and pol policy. I have complete confidence in this president. Now, do you guys think that this is the truth or do you think that this is a lie? Uh, write truth if you believe he's telling the truth. And if you think it's a lie, I want you to write out lie. All right. Now, what? Uh, now, if this is true, why is Garland fighting so hard to avoid handing over the audio recordings of President Biden's deposition interview with special counsel Robert Hur? For those who don't remember, this was the same interview that got Biden off the hook for being charged with having top secret documents because he had a poor memory. Now, Representative James Comer has given Merrick Garland one final chance to comply with his request and hand over the files before he's held in contempt. Now, the reason he won't be uh, frustrated or scared about being held in contempt will be what happened to Alejandro Mayorkas earlier today. And I'll tell you about that story in a minute. Lie, 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 lie. Yes, I, I agree. He is definitely lying. All right, now listen to this. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene has just told Breitbart News that she is not bluffing when it comes to the removal of House Speaker Mike Johnson. She said, this guy has more Democrat friends than Republican friends. She stated, there may be only two of us public right now. That's her and Thomas Macy. Uh, Massey, excuse me, but he does not have the support of the conference at all. There may be people who might not vote to vacate him right now, but they will never vote for him to be speaker next Congress. There are two large factions in the conference against his speakership. Trump, who has been put in a weird spot because he's friends with both of them, when asked what should happen, he just said, I guess we'll see what happens. So Trump isn't wanting to step or put foot into this arena. Uh, he's just going to allow the Republicans to work it out. But my guess is uh, Mike Johnson is about to be booted out of his speaker position. Now, across the aisle in the Senate, Democrats came together to save Biden's border chief, Alejandro Mayorkas, uh, from being impeached. In a vote of 51 to 48, Senator Chuck Schumer's measure, which claimed that the impeachment was unconstitutional, passed because all the Democrats voted to save one of their own. Now, according to the 51 people who voted in favor of not impeaching Alejandro Mayorkas, they say Mayorkas has not committed any crimes worthy of impeachment. I guess allowing a massive drug crisis, which takes the life of over 100,000 Americans is nothing. I guess the child trafficking, women trafficking, uh, 10, 7 to 10 million people breaking into the country. Uh, we're just finding out now that the person that took the life of Lincoln Riley was allowed in because they just didn't want to take time to process him. So they just said, Go into the United States and we'll figure your situation out later. Now, remember how quickly they moved to impeach Donald Trump. But now they're bending over backwards to keep a man who has broken the law, endangered American citizens, and fundamentally altered the United States of America. But I'll give the Democrats one thing. They all stick together like a cult. And this is why they are able to remain in power. This is why they're able to get more done than Republicans. And this is why they always save their own while Republicans throw each other under the bus constantly. All right, now, uh, up in New York, Mayor Eric Adams is dealing with climate activists that stormed the stage while he was giving a public speech. They shouted, how much money do you take from the rich before being dragged off the stage? This climate group that took responsibility for rushing the stage and interrupting a government uh, situation, they have stated, Landlord Adams is torching our city so he can keep eating out of the real estate lobby's hands. He gutted the city's Green New Deal, Local Law 97, so the rich can get richer. Enough is enough. Let's get a better mayor. So I have a feeling between the illegal immigrants, the rising crime, 
and uh, these activist groups that we might not see a second term of Eric uh, Adams as the mayor. Now, according to the Fed chair, Jerome Powell, the fight with inflation is far from over. During a recent speech, he stated, the recent data have clearly not given us greater confidence and instead indicate that it's likely to take longer than expected to achieve that confidence, meaning getting inflation down to 2%. On the other hand, President Biden recently stated that the delay will only be around a month, but come on, it's not looking realistic. They literally can't get inflation under control. Why? Because the government keeps printing trillions and trillions of dollars. Now, after being criticized for failing to uphold sanctions against Iran's missile production, the Biden White House has finally decided to do something. The new sanctions being imposed on Iran's supplying entities are said to be targeting Iran's missile and drone program, the two major weapons that they used against Israel and that they give to Russia to use against Ukraine. Now, two big developments have happened in Trump's uh, court case today. The first one is E. Jean Carroll is beginning to grow restless. Her lawyer has promised, we will get Trump, we're going to get all this money for you, and they got this judgment of $84 million. Well, now he's taking it to the appeals court, and E. Jean Carroll is starting to worry that she's not going to get that $84 million. In fact, she's beginning to panic to the point where people in her immediate circle were worried uh, because they found out she has an unlicensed handgun in her home with live ammunition rounds. So the worry is that she might use it on herself or someone else or maybe a visiting former president. Uh, so it, it got so bad that they had to basically go to her house and confiscate the weapon. Also, if Trump decides to testify in the hush money case, attorneys have announced that they will be interrogating him about the E.G. Carroll situation and how he owes her $84 million, that he's a sexual assaulter, that he doesn't pay uh, his court settlements. Even though he's in the middle of an appeal, they're going to try to get the media to position Trump as if he's not paying for this uh, settlement. Now, many believe this line of questioning and strategy to interrogate Donald Trump is coming directly from Letitia James, who is feeding ideas to Alvin Bragg and Judge Juan Mershon, since as attorney general, she is the boss of both of them. So she's, she's up here conspiring with others and then feeding ideas down in order to get Donald Trump. They want to jail him. They want to bankrupt him. They want to humiliate him. Now, what's interesting is having an unlicensed gun in the city of New York is a punishable felony. So E. Jean Carroll owns an unlicensed gun. It's, punish it's a punishable felony. However, since it's E. Jean Carroll, the woman who got big, bad, orange face Donald Trump, the police told her, we're not going to file any charges. We're just going to hold your gun until you can get that paperwork done and finally get that license to have your gun. <laughs> I mean, talk about a double standard. I mean, every day I'm bringing this stuff to you guys. Our government hates us. They, they literally, they, they are the most corrupt people. And yet somehow they keep getting into these uh, official offices and then they just stay there for decades, year after year after year. They, they say they're going to do something and they lie to us, and then we keep them in office. I mean, maybe we're the morons that keep voting them back in. All right, now lastly, Letitia James might actually be in big trouble herself. Once Trump and his bond insurance company are able to show that they have the ability to pay the court, AG Letitia James has to prove why she held up the bond and why she's blocking Donald Trump's appeal case. 
This is literally obstruction of justice. And she better have a damn good reason, right? Now, she's being told, you better have a good reason. And that reason can't be because it's Donald Trump. So the one thing that she's probably wanting to say, oh, well, it's Donald Trump, or look at what Donald Trump does. They're saying that's off the table. You better have a really good reason for blocking this and obstructing uh, justice. Now, my guess is nothing will happen to her. She's the attorney general of New York, for heaven's sakes. And most of the people that voted her in, they're grateful that she got Donald Trump. They're saying. Oh, yeah, she's a hero. She's the one person that keeps her promise as a politician. What an absolute shame. So much going on. Did you guys see uh, that over in the Middle East, uh, this is crazy, right? Because uh, conspiracy theorists have been saying that governments around the world use chemtrails and they also are trying to block out the sun. And also, they have the ability to control the weather. Well, look at what happened in Dubai. They were seeding the seeds. They go up. They spray this saltwater mixture. That attracts all the moisture, and these, these clouds form. And then what happens? It rains in Dubai. It gives water to the desert. And they were doing it about once a week. They've admitted that they do this. And so, uh, anyway, I guess they did too much. And there was this horrible, horrible storm. Uh, you can go on and, and take a look at it. The entire sky turned this really eerie green color. And then boom, they got over a year's worth of water in one day. It is so bad. And over in Omen, they're having, they're having like torrential downpours, horrible flooding, mud flows. It's really, really bad. Um, so anyway, it, uh, pretty crazy, right? But, uh, you know, I guess conspiracy theorists can ch check one more off the box, right? One more box, ba-boom. Uh, these conspiracy theories keep becoming conspiracy facts. All right, now I'm going to head to bed. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, getting your news here. I want to remind you guys that you are amazing. Thank you so much for liking and sharing these videos. I really appreciate that. Sandy, alert launch codes given to U.S. bombers. I'm not sure what that means, but thank you so much for the super chat. Everybody have a great night. Thank you for liking this, and I'll see you on the next video.